Redwood Church of God. We're so blessed to be here today. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I don't see any new faces here. No, we oh, we do. We have a visitor today. Could someone bring her a microphone? And I know it's not going to hurt that bad. It'll just it'll be over before you know it. Just just let us know what your name is, um, where you're from, and how you uh, come to come to Redwood Church of God. Okay, I think I can handle that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Cheryl, and um, um, I'm a friend of Sarah's. We used to go to church up here in Seattle, and then I moved to Idaho, so I'm just over visiting from Idaho for a bit. Okay. So, so I came with her. <laughs> Amen. Let's give her a warm Redwood welcome. <laughs> and we're very happy you came to visit us. Thank you, Sarah, for bringing your friend, and you're welcome here at any time. Amen? Okay, hallelujah. Anybody else? Okay. Um, last week, last week I gave out a certificate of baptism to Kevin. Where is he? Did he leave? And it was the wrong date, so I was going to bring him back up here, but he's seemed to have departed. Uh, John Kirk, come on up here, please. You can come up here. John was baptized. Here, you can hold this. John was baptized um, over a year ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so he came up to me and says, hey, Pastor, how come I never got one of those? <laughs> I says... Oh, for, f please forgive me. So I brought him up here to make up to him and let him know that um, might have forgotten the certificate, but you're not forget forgotten in our hearts. And uh, oh. yeah. And so I want to give you a, an opportunity just to say a few words. Few words. <laughs> no, seriously. This is a prime example of ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. And you are forgiven. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All right. Thank you, John. We love you. Come here. Give me a hug. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. And uh, is Dale here today? No? Okay. All right. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Today we're going to do a memorial in his honor. Amen. And uh, we're going to celebrate the Last Supper. And so my deacons might want to come up here. They say that Jesus walked this earth. He did, had his ministry for 33 and a half years. And we acknowledge him for walking a perfect, sinless life. He never once sinned. Not even once. He went through temptation. He suffered. And he endured. We have a, a faithful high priest who can sympathize with our weaknesses and our struggles. He was fully God and he was fully man. He voluntarily submitted his God nature to his human nature, to his man nature. He never once, not once, called on his own power. For everything that he did, he called on the Father. 
never sinned. Because, saints, he had to in order for him to fulfill the ministry that he was given. What was that ministry? To be Savior, to be Lord and Redeemer of all mankind. That we would be able to receive the forgiveness of sins. And so that we could be restored back to the Father in relationship. Yeah, the Father, God, he is so holy. He is so pure that darkness cannot even approach him. So in our fin sinful state, we are cut off from relationship with the Father. Not only that, we did not, we were dead to God. We were dead in our sins. We had no fellowship, no communion with God. It wasn't like that. It wasn't originally designed like that in the beginning. Amen? Adam and Eve were created in innocence, in innocence, and they had fellowship with the Father. But because sin was introduced into the world, we had a big problem. And there was only one man, that's right, one man, Jesus the God-man, volunteered to come out of his highest state. It, being equal with God, he did not consider it robbery to leave his exalted position and come down here and go through the things that he went through. His own received him not. He was beaten. He was brutalized. He was mocked. He was discarded by his own. But Jesus never gave up. He never gave up. He was not moved. He had a job to do, and he did it. He went up on that cross. He was beaten, tortured, flogged, mocked, brutalized in every manner in which we can imagine. He did not retaliate. He did not defend himself. He could have. He could have called down a legion of angels if he wanted to. But he didn't. Why? That's the question. Why? because of love. It's not the Father's will that any man should perish, but all should have eternal life. And there was only one way. It was through the perfect atoning sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His holy blood had to be shed as a sacrifice, as payment our sins. That's right. Sin demands payment. There is a sin debt. And Jesus Christ paid it all. For all of us, before, present, and future, one perfect atoning sacrifice when he died up there on that cross. And today, we bring that into remembrance. We walk in that remembrance every day. Because it's when we approach the Father now, guess what? As you all well know, we can enter into relationship with the Father now. Because when we come before the Father, He does not see our righteousness, but He sees the righteousness of His Son. That we're covered by the blood of Jesus. We are cleansed and washed whiter than snow. And so today, we're doing a memorial service in honor of our Lord Jesus so that we don't forget and so that we continue to walk with that cleansing blood.
that Jesus had provided for all of us. And so we have the elements up here. And um, I would like our deacons to begin to pass out those elements. And as they pass them out, I'd like everyone just to, to be quiet, to be still. Reflect upon yourself. Do an examination. This is not for the unbelievers. This is for believers. If you're not a believer, don't partake. If you are a believer, partake and partake freely. So let's just take a few minutes as we're passing out these elements to reflect upon the Lord and what he's done and, and discern his body and take this opportunity to get right before him. Amen? Amen. Thank you. That was beautiful. I'm going to read to you out of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse starting with verse 23. Does everybody get these unfriendly seniors' cups opened okay? They can be a challenge sometimes. Okay, we're all good. Verse 23 says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Let's eat together.
he went on to say, do this in remembrance of me. We remember, Lord. Thank you. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Okay, let's take the cup, church. Thank you, Lord, for your sacrifice. Thank you for pouring your blood out for us, for the forgiveness of our sins. We love you. May you be honored this day. Let us drink together. Hallelujah. And it also says in Scripture, that after they were done, they went out to the Mount of Olives and they sang a hymn. Well, we don't have the Mount of Olives here, but we got a, a hymn. So Sarah's going to sing us a song. There we go. It's your blood that cleanses me. It's your blood that gives me life. It's your blood that took my place in redeeming sacrifice. Washes me whiter than the snow, than the snow. My Jesus, God's precious sacrifice. It's your blood that cleanses me. It's your blood that gives me life. It's your blood that took my place in redeeming sacrifice. Washes me whiter than the snow, than the snow. My Jesus, God's precious sacrifice. <laughs> I <Amen>. that too low. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, hallelujah, thank you. Thank you. Speaking of life, I'm going to speak some life into this place. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap. Come on, hallelujah. What an awesome praise and worship service this morning, Pastor Ray Edwards. And you did a great job in your announcing, amen? And are you guys happy? All right, we need to be happy. And, and for, for more than one reason, but one of them is, is we have two distinguished guests that came to visit us this morning. Pastor Alvin and Vivian, please stand up. We want to welcome you back. Thank you for supporting us. Amen. You are so welcome here. And uh, we're running a little bit behind on time, so um, we're going to move into an area called the Word. Amen? Amen. I'm excited about today's message. And before I start, I want to pray. 
Actually, before I start, I remember what I was going to do. Brother Charles, we love you. What an incredible man you are. Brother Stan, I just got to call you up here. Come here. Come on up here, Stan. Come up here. Oh, face the people. Don't look at me. <laughs> Everyone take a look. This is a man of God that loves God and loves his people. And he goes to whatever length he can to serve and to help. And I know he's not looking for recognition. I know him that well. But I just can't help myself because I get excited whenever I see men and women serving with all of their hearts the kingdom of God and being a blessing. Brother Charles, you know what? Brother Charles, yeah, yeah, give him a hand. Come on, he deserves it. This is the type of servant the Lord is promoting in our church. Amen? And, and so look at Stan and imitate him. Amen? And uh, I'm so thankful and so grateful for the blessing you are to the church, to the Redwood Church of God. Stan, you are a blessing. He faithfully goes and visits Charles, who's confined. Um, what's the name of the place? It's uh, Arcadia Nursing Home? Re restorative Center, something like that? Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, Brother Charles, as we've been praying for him, has been suffering for months and months. And he's cooped up in that restorative center. We talk a lot on the phone. But Stan takes his time and goes up and visits him and prays with him and ministers to him. And, and Charles, God bless you. I love the desire I see in you to be in the house of God, to be in the family of God, to be included. God bless you, brother. Yeah. And thank you all for your prayers because, you know what, I'm, I know that this is to be true. It's because of our prayers Charles is here. Is because of our prayers has inspired Stan to go and serve in the way that he does. And I, you got that mic, so I'm going to give you a few minutes just to say something to the people, okay? All I can say is look to Jesus if you're looking for the example. Because it is he that brings our joy and our peace. And God is at work. If you don't see a miracle every day, you're missing it. <laughs> you're missing it. God at work in this world, and we just see a small portion of what he's doing, but he gives us enough to know that he is at work. And thank you. I love you, brother. I love you more. Amen. Uh, Daniel, well, stay here for a second. It sounds like someone's got a word for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Words are, the word of God is to build up, to edify, and to comfort, so you have nothing to worry about. Amen? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All morning, well, I guess it's afternoon. All afternoon since we started the service, what's been on my heart is we're standing on holy ground. And um, one of the brothers, as you stood up, something says I was standing on holy ground, something. And it, it was just like, I, that was it. All I knew was that all, the whole service, at some point, we are standing on holy ground. And I know that there are angels all around. Let us praise Jesus now. For we are standing on in his presence on holy ground. Your heart is holy ground. Your heart is service. Your heart is love. Your heart is care. Your heart is compassion. It's for your friends. It's for your family. It's for people. 
your heart is holy ground. God bless you, brother. Amen. Speak up. Yeah, okay. Someday, when we arrive in his throne, we're going to, our hearts and spirits will be just in awe. Human words do not, do not cut it. But God's presence does. And I just encourage each of you to know God's spirit. I, I pray that that your hearts will be quickened to just give him everything, everything, because if you will, he, he rewards you greatly. He gives you the peace and joy that he has promised. There's no greater, because we are his creation, and his creation should the whole world should be rejoicing. We know that's not happening, but they're missing it. Let us not miss it. Amen. We have every opportunity to do that. Amen. Amen. Stan, you had you have that coming to be for the to be before the people of God and sharing the word. You have that coming, brother. Thank you so much. Pastor Alvin and Vivian, come on up here. <laughs> you know, we pray for you every week, even though you're not here for the prayers, but we pray for you guys. And for those, so when, when uh, come on up here. So when, when uh, Sister Linda lifts up Pastor Alvin and Vivian, this is who she's praying for. And look who came to see us today. C could you edify the, the body for just a few minutes, please? Well, praise God. And again, oh, I'm so I'm not used to a mic because I talk loud anyway. Is the mic on? Can you hear me? Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm glad to see the sheep in the house of the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. I am so happy to see you guys. Every time I come here, I know the Spirit is here because you guys are such beautiful people. And I just don't say that. It's for real. You guys are such beautiful people. And you are anointed in here. So seriously, your service, your love, your kindness, all of that just shows, okay? So just keep it up. God is very pleased with all of you. And, Pastor, you are so blessed to have a flock like this, okay? Because <laughs> it's important that the sheep acknowledge who they are and not absurd the shepherd and just be the sheep and the sheep has responsibilities too and that is to glorify the Lord with the shepherd because he's teaching you how to do it so listen once again I'm just happy to be here and I thank you guys for having us here and all I can say is hallelujah and thank you Jesus <laughs> Amen. God bless. Praise the Lord. All out of glory and praise be to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is truly first and foremost in my life. And I was just content uh, to sit back there in the back and just get fed. Uh, but uh, he tells us to always be ready to give uh, reason for, y for your hope. And uh, my reason for your hope is your hope. I, I hope you can understand that. My reason for my hope is your hope. Uh, just your presence being here in the house of God. I mean, this is Saturday. This is Sea Fair weekend. Amen. Blue angels is flying and everything. But but nothing is like being in the house of God. Amen. And, and a sign of that, and what uh, Brother uh, uh, said in regards to uh, Stanley, what Brother Stanley said as far as your heart's giving your hearts up, this is just a, uh, a sample of y'all giving your hearts up to God, giving your time, and just coming to hear from the man of God. And so, Pastor James, 
Without further ado, I'm going to let you get to the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for having us. Redwood Amen. Church of God loves you guys. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give me a hand. Praise God. Praise God. All right. God bless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I wasn't about to let you sit back there and